In March 2012, the internal conflict in Syria forced hundreds of thousands of Syrians from their homes. As the fighting intensified and the situation deteriorated, Syrian refugees crossed the borders into neighboring countries of Jordan, Iraq, Lebanon, and Turkey. In August 2013, the UN announced that over 2 million Syrians had fled the country since the start of the crisis. In Jordan, the International Organization for Migration responded to the rapid influx of Syrians by providing the new arrivals with transport to reach the refugee camps. At the reception area in Zateri, IOM provides medical assistance and referrals to local hospitals for chronic cases. Information on the number of arrivals is shared on a daily basis with UNHCR, WFP and other partners so they can prepare to receive the refugees at the camps. IOM has transported 400,000 individuals to the Emirates Jordanian camp and Zatari camp, which is the third largest refugee camp in the world. We arrived from Syria exhausted from the war, the destruction, the bombings, from everything we'd seen. We attempted to get to the safety of Jordan, to Zatari refugee camp. The Jordanian border guards took care of us, we were taken to Zatari camp, where IOM, UNHCR and others received us and gave us a large tent. We thank God they were so forthcoming. We were at the end of our ropes and we couldn't take any more, with the conflict and all the horrors we'd witnessed in Syria. We arrived in winter and it was freezing, it even snowed. The organizations in Zatari gave us blankets, gas heaters, hot water, tent, and every 15 days we get food rations from bulgur wheat to lentils and so forth. Refugees employ their crafts within the makeshift souk that is now serving the 9 square kilometer camp. The market is thriving. Syrian sweets are in high demand and affordable for those who have cash on them. I've been working here for eight months on reception services with IOM. We're responsible for giving the newly arrived refugees anything they immediately require upon their arrival in order to make their lives easier. Of course, they're coming into Jordan traumatized and in shock from their country, so you really want to help in any way you can, any gesture, to make them smile. If any vulnerable refugees arrive on their own, for instance, if a woman shows up on her own, we're here to help her. The same goes for the young, anyone under 18. We try to help in any way we can, referring them to specialized assistance with UNICEF, Save the Children and others where appropriate. We provide services to third country nationals, hosting them within the IOM reception area, contacting their embassies, and helping them. <laughs> IOM works closely with the Jordanian health authorities and provides triage to new arrivals, vaccination against measles and polio, and TB awareness raising and screening for Syrian refugees and members of the host communities in Jordan. With the generous support of various donors and partners, including the Jordanian Border Guards, PSD, JAF, UNHCR, WFP, UNICEF, WHO and the Jordanian Health Ministry, IOM has and will continue to provide timely services and ensure humane and safe transport for those who cross into Jordan's territory. Mm -hmm.